Welcome to the installation and maintenance guide for the small holdings drip system. A revolutionary offering from the global leader in smart irrigation solutions, NetAFM, that has been tailor-made for the irrigation requirements of small and marginal holdings. Components Before installing the system, let us get familiar with the components of the system. The kit comes with a user's manual with step-by-step -step installation details. The small holdings drip system comprises of two boxes, one big box and a smaller accessories box placed inside. Along with the boxes, coils of dripper lines are provided, which are measured according to the capacity of the system. The bigger box contains a coil of blank lateral measuring 40 meters. Inside the bigger box is an accessories box that contains the following parts. One tank outlet, one PP ball valve, one screen filter, one female reducer, one PP elbow compression into thread, one PP elbow compression into compression, 40 female connectors, 40 male connectors, 30 nipples, 40 dripper line end caps, 40 dummy plugs, 1 lateral end cap, 1 mini punch and 2 rolls of Teflon tape. Layout options. The system can be laid out in two ways. Setting up the tank on the corner of the field and laying down the dripper lines on only one side of the blank lateral. Setting up the tank on the middle of one side of the field and laying down the dripper lines on both sides of the blank lateral. Installing the tank Before installation, you will also need to arrange a measuring tape, a white marker or a piece of chalk and a sharp knife for installing the kit. Make a platform for the tank with a minimum height of 2.5 meters from the ground surface. Take a tank of suitable capacity At a height of about 4 inches from the base of the tank Drill a hole of about 1 inch in diameter Open the tank outlet set and fix the parts of the tank outlet set tightly into the drilled hole Place the tank on the constructed stand Installing the filtration set and blank lateral for the following steps, use the Teflon tape on the threaded parts to tighten the joint between two parts. Take the PP ball valve and screen filter and fix them together with the filter pointing towards the PP ball valve. Take the female reducer and fix it on the other end of the screen filter. Take this complete set and fix it on the tank outlet set. The knob of the PP ball valve must face upwards and the filter should face downwards. Take the PP elbow compression into thread and fix the threaded part into the female reducer. Measure the distance of the surface of the ground to the center of the PP elbow and cut a portion of the blank lateral. While still attached to the female reducer, open the PP elbow to find three separate parts. The elbow the white gasket and the compression head. Insert the cut portion of the blank lateral into the compression head and place the white gasket over the blank lateral. Pull the lateral gently so that the white gasket slides into the compression head. Fix the compression head onto the PP elbow tightly. Take the PP elbow, compression into compression and open both the ends to find five different parts. Two compression heads, two white gaskets and one elbow. Insert the open hanging end of the blank lateral into the compression head. Fix the white gasket around the open end of the blank lateral. Gently pull the compression head downwards so that the white gasket slides into it. Fix the elbow into the compression head. Take the open end of the blank lateral from the coil 
and insert it into the compression head. Repeat the steps for the white gasket and close the compression head. Lay out the blank lateral on the side of the plot of land that is to be irrigated. Take the lateral end cap and in the same manner as the PP elbows, fix it onto the open end of the blank lateral. Installing the dripper lines. Measure and mark out points on the blank lateral at 1 meter spacing. The points must be marked on the side of the lateral only. To punch a hole on the lateral, hold the mini punch in your hand and place the metal portion on the blank lateral. While applying pressure, press the mini punch into the blank lateral till you feel that a hole is punched. Pull out the mini punch and push out the punched out piece by moving the trigger forward. Take the female connector and insert it into the hole punched into the blank lateral. Keep pressing the female connector into the hole till you hear a click sound. Take the male connector and firmly insert its short end into the female connector. Insert the other female and male connectors in the same way into all the punched holes. Open the dripper line coil supplied with the kit by removing the protective plastic wrapping around it. Take the open end of the dripper line and cut off a small portion to have a sharp opening. Insert the open end over the barbed end of the male connector. Now roll open the dripper line coil along the length of the plot of land. Take care that the dripper must be facing upwards and not the surface of the ground. When the end of the field is reached, cut the dripper line from the coil. Take the dripper line end cap and seal the ends as shown. Install the dripper lines onto the other male connectors along the length of the field. Operating the small holdings drip system. Water can be filled in the tank via a pipe or with buckets of water, whichever is convenient. A suitable foot operated treadle pump or a low power requiring pump can also be purchased for this. To start the flow of water, just turn the knob of the PP ball valve on. Drops of water will start trickling through the apertures made in the dripper lines. Maintenance of the system Maintenance of the system requires periodical cleaning of the water tank, filter and removal of salt deposition from the dripper lines. Cleaning the filter For the filter, cleaning should be done on a daily basis. Open the filter cover and remove the nylon mesh. Wash the debris and dirt under running water. Ensure that all the dirt and debris is washed off. Place the nylon mesh back into the filter. Close the filter by putting back the filter cover. Cleaning of the tank Cleaning of the tank must be done once a month. Close the PP ball valve. Disconnect the screen filter from the tank. Clean the insides and replace the tank on the stand and fix the filtration unit back in its place. Cleaning and maintenance of the dripper lines. The dripper lines should be subjected to acid treatment at the end of crop season to remove accumulated salts and organic debris. For this, the acid should be diluted with water in the ratio of 1 is to 1000. This means that if your tank has a capacity of 500 litres, then 500 ml of concentrated acid should be diluted in 500 litres of water. 
clean the tank and the filter properly before making the acid water solution. Fill the tank with water and pour the required volume of acid into it. Stir the solution with a plastic pipe only and not a metallic pipe and certainly not with bare hands. Turn the system on to let the acid water solution flow through the dripper lines. Care must be taken that always acid should be added to water and not water to acid as this may generate heat that can cause damage to the system. At the end of each month, turn on the system and open the end caps of the dripper lines one by one and clean water should be allowed to flow through them to flush out any debris. The end cap of the blank lateral should also be opened and clean water should be allowed to flow out of it. This should be done at an interval of 15 days. Removing the dripper lines When the plot of land is to be prepared for the next crop, the dripper lines need to be removed from the plot. Pull the male connector away from the female connector and plug the female connector with a dummy plug. Roll the dripper lines and place them on a mount few meters from the ground to prevent settling of mud and also minimize the attack of rodents. Do not place the dripper lines on the ground or leave them lying on the field. When the field has been prepared for the next crop, remove the dummy plugs from the female connectors and replace the dripper lines in their earlier positions by fixing the male connectors into the female connectors. Place the dummy plugs in a secure place, away from the reach of children. Repairing a damaged dripper line When on the field, the dripper lines are susceptible to mechanical or physical damage. In such cases, cut off the damaged portion. Join two cut ends with the nipple, making sure that the dripper is not near the nipple ends. If the damaged portion is too long, Cut off the damaged part and then cut off the same length of dripper line from the coil to replace the damaged portion. In case a hole is punched at a wrong position on the blank lateral, it should be plugged with a dummy plug. For this, insert a female connector into the hole and then insert the dummy plug into the female connector. Points to note For the system to operate properly, it is advised that the following points should be carefully noted. The minimum height of the platform for placing the tank should be 2.5 meters from the surface of the ground. The maximum distance between dripper lines should be 1 meter. The permissible length of dripper lines laid on the field is 40 meters. The selection of the size of the water tank should be done after properly understanding the water requirement of the crop on a daily or per irrigation cycle basis specific to the crop and the soil. We hope that this installation, operation and maintenance movie has enabled you to properly set up the kit and deliver the value that is associated with the legacy of Netafim. With Netafim's assured quality the small holdings drip system offers you sustainable productivity and prosperity for years to come. 50 years of shaping the future. Netafim.